Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 vanished with 239 people on board on March 8, 2014. A decade later, it remains one of the most enduring aviation mysteries. The plane's disappearance sparked a sprawling, years-long search operation involving 30 countries, not to mention an in-depth analysis on Australia's 60 Minutes and a Netflix docuseries. This past week, at a memorial event to mark the 10th anniversary of the jet's disappearance, Malaysian Transportation Minister Anthony Loke said the government is open to a further search operation if there is credible evidence. An American company recently submitted a proposal to the government, sparking hope for closure among families of those who went missing. Here's a timeline of key events. In the early hours of March 8, 2014, Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing suddenly dropped from radar. There were 227 passengers and 12 crew members aboard the aircraft, a Boeing 777. The passengers represented 14 nations, but most were Chinese. None was heard from again. The last communication from the plane was 38 minutes after takeoff, when it was over the South China Sea. Military radar captured it veering dramatically off its intended path, heading westward, before the signal was lost. It is believed to have fallen into the Indian Ocean inside Australia's search and rescue area. A search commenced, and Malaysian, Australian and Chinese authorities agreed to comb more than 23,000 square miles of ocean for evidence. Malaysian officials in January 2015 declared the disappearance of Flight 370 an accident and the passengers and crew aboard presumed dead, paving the way for the airline to pay settlements to the families. The underwater search area was doubled to 46,300 square miles in April 2015 by Malaysia, Australia and China. A clue appeared in July 2015, about 2,800 miles away from the search area. A piece of debris that was strikingly similar to a movable wing part found on Boeing 777s washed up on the small French island of Réunion in the Indian Ocean. French experts who examined the part, known as a flaperon, concluded that it belonged to the ill-fated plane. More pieces of debris were recovered from several countries, part of a wing from the Indian Ocean island nation of Mauritius, just east of Réunion, segments of a door and the engine from beaches in Mauritius and South Africa, a section of a wing's outboard flap off the coast of Tanzania, and pieces of a wing from Mozambique. In May, the head of Australia's Transport Safety Bureau, Martin Dolan, acknowledged the decreasing possibility of finding the missing plane. An underwater search of a section of the Indian Ocean between May 2014 and January 2017 ended without success. Australia led the operation with support from Malaysia and China, and officials from the three nations said the decision to call off the effort, has not been taken lightly nor without sadness.